Okay, start. Start your presentation. Okay, ako ba nanginginig na ako? Okay, ako nanginginig na ako. Ako na mute Ba't naman nangyayin? Patay nyo kasi aircon. Mga masyadong manamig dyan, kaya nanginginig ka. Ate ko na magsalito. Ate, matanag ako na ako sa loob. Ate, sinayon mo na. Ate, sinayon mo na. Hindi ko ito Okay, pakibasa yung title nyo and then next slide. Present yourself first. Yan, sige. Okay na ba kayo Tagalog? Sir, okay lang daw po ba kayo Tagalog? Sige, gusto mo. Chinese pa eh. <laughs> Kung kaya nyo Chinese, di Chinese. Hindi <laughs> Online learning hard time struggle of senior high students in Antipodo City. Ayan po, so ito po yung background of the study natin. The COVID-19 pandemic resulting economic crisis has brought unprecedented challenges to higher education. Since summer, we students of San Roque National High School research this to understand the impacts of pandemic on, instit on institutional policies, consumer protection, and finance through interviews with representatives from institutions and systems of higher education, professional associations, and students. This blog is part of a series in which we sum up findings from these interviews. You can explore findings regarding the pandemic's impact on institutional finance and consumer protection. So according to Sovereign Project 48284-001, as prescribed in the Enhanced Basic Education Act of 2013, in June 2016, DEPAD will launch senior high school nationwide a new level of basic education consisting of grade 11 and 12 students who want to pursue a degree in public administ administration are encouraged to take the humanities and social sciences or HUM strand under the academic track. The curriculum focuses on human behavior, literature, education, politics, and liber liberal arts and society. The Hume Strand will cover relevant topics that may further discuss in their college lectures. Next slide. This act related to researcher study because Republic Act 10650, Open Distance Learning Law has tasked UPOU to assist 
relevant national agencies, higher education institutions, and technical and vocational institutions in developing their distance education programs for ta fruit training, technical assistance, research and other academic programs, and sovereign projects as prescribed in the Enhanced Basic Education Act of 2013 in June 2016, DepEd will launch senior high school nationwide, a new level of basic education consisting of grade 11 and 12 students, provides an act for all students here in the Philippines. We look into how learning occurred at home during the pandemic. The findings show that Students faced many obstacles in a home learning environment, such as lack of mastery of technology, high internet costs, and limited interaction or socialization between and among students. And a lot of students have different problems at their own home, and, and it makes it hard to focus on their studies. In the wake of the COVID-19 outbreak, Many governments declared public health emergencies and other and some have instituted shelter in place orders. In response, universities around the world had shifted their school life into online or virtual class for the remain remainder of the semester. Transitioning from a from a classroom to an online video conference is challenging for everyone involved. Teachers must make extra effort to engage students effectively. And students in turn have to make an extra effort to stay engaged amid distractions at home. The said problem encouraged the researchers to do the present study. At the end of this at the end of this research, it is expected that additional information regarding the common struggles of students in this pandemic time. It is also expected that we will recommend some activity to lessen their negative thoughts about their activities which we found on the internet and we, and we depend on it. To what we research, to, to what we research, to improve the students of San Roque National High School. Okay, uh, para mabis na tayo, no? Later, back tayo dyan. Let's go back to your background of this study. Yung una. Yan. Yung title nyo is Hard Time and Struggles. Pakiya-focus nga yung title nyo. It's something to do. It is something to do with hard time and struggle. Hard times. Isang oras lang ba? Isang pagkakataon lang ba? So, first correction, take note ay yung notebook nyo ha, saka ballpen nyo, take note sa title nyo, online learning, hard times, with S, and struggles of senior high school, senior high school students. Sigurado ba kayo na buong antipolo ay kinuha na nyo ng data? Sino ang respondents nyo? Iba-ibang school po, sir. Ano-anong school? Sumulong po. Tapos sa may S ka, sir. Sa Nose po. How did you collect the data? Paano nyo kinolekta yung mga information, mga sagot? Ah, let me rephrase the question. Tapos na ba to? O hindi pa? Hindi pa po, sir. Ah, okay. So, in terms, kung hindi nyo pa naikakandak to, ay mag-focus na lang kayo sa San Roque National. Huwag nyo nang pahirapan ng sarili nyo. Pag Antipolo City kayo, ang dami-dami school sa Antipolo City. Ang dami-dami senior high school dito, sa totoo lang. Sa secondary lang, public, 20 na agad. Public pa lang yun. Isama nyo pa private, mas marami yan. So ulit, hard, online learning, hard times, and struggles of senior high school students in San Roque National High School. That will be your new title. 
Okay po? Okay po, sir. Parang ayaw nyo, parang gusto niya ata buong antipolo eh. Hindi, oh, sir. Pa- parang masama loob nyo eh. Hindi po. O, oh, sige. Next. Next tayo sa background of this study. Op, 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 pakibalik. Okay, first paragraph nyo. I tell something about your research. Okay. Matama naman siya. <laughs> Pakitanggal yung mga word na we. Ano, yung we, yung they. Pakitanggal yung mga third person na word. Huwag kayong gagamit nun sa research kasi technical paper to eh. Formal. Formal paper siya. Huwag kayong gagamit nun. Kung sino yung ko yung we, kung kayo yun, kung kayong mga researcher yon, use the word researcher. Halimbawa dyan, oh, may nakalagay, uh, saan na yun? Since summer, we students, <laughs> pwede naman, baka dayan, the students of San Roque National High School. Oh, kaya, yung we, or the researcher, The researchers of this study. Oh, yun. Ganon. Huwag kayong gagawin ng word na we. Sino tinutukoy yung we? Ano? Then, in which, this blog, blog pa talaga yan? Ano bang ginagawa nyo? Saan nyo kinapipaste yan? This blog is part of a series Aba talagang may serye eh, ang vlogging nyo, ha? Kayo naman, magkakapipaste lang kayo. Hindi nyo binabasa na maigi. Oh, this vlog is a part of a series in which we sum up findings from this interview. Hindi vlog ang ginagawa nyo, research. Ha? This research is a summary of findings from the interviews conducted. Ayun, pwede yun. Ay, so, tungkol saan yung research nyo? Tatanungin ko kayo. Tungkol saan? Hmm? Um, a struggle po ng mga estudyante, sir. Oh, yon. Doon kayo magbigay ng information. Halimbawa, i-define niyo yung word na struggle. Pwede 'yon. Mag-start kayo doon. Struggle is defined as hmm, in lieu of this or in line of this this research will focus mainly oh, ganun. So, tell something. Kumbaga, eh, para i-capsule niyo, i-summarize niyo yung research niyo sa first paragraph pa lang. Kitang-kita na kung tungkol saan yung research niyo. Okay, then second paragraph. Your research is all about struggles. Yung bang Republic Act 10650, I connection, my connection sa hard time and struggles of senior high school students. Paano ba nag-struggle? Sabihin nyo nga sa akin, paano nag-struggle? In what way? Um, sa ano, sir? Aba, uh, COVID. Mm, ano pa? Sa madami sa online madami learning po, sir. Bakit nagkaroon na struggle? Because of COVID, sabi nyo. Anong rule? Anong batas? Ang ipinapatupad ngayon, bakit hindi nag, hindi na tayo naka-face to face? pansamantala. You say, sabi nyo, because of COVID, kaya nagkaroon ng struggle. Anong batas ang pinatutupad ngayon sa ba- bansa? Yun yung IATF rule. di ba Nagbabawal sa mass gathering. And yung attending of class, mag-uumpukan kayo doon. Kaya pinagbawal. Iyon ang ilagay nyo dyan. 
nagkakaintindihan po ba tayo? Yung mga safety protocols, yan, nandyan yan sa IATF rule. So, sa third paragraph, i-connectan nyo ngayon sa hard time and struggle. Yung batas na yun. So, tinutunungan ko kayong maayos yung research nyo, ha? Kasi walang kinalaman niyan sa Republic uh, 10650 Open Distance Learning Law. Walang kinalaman niyan sa totoo lang yung title niyo. O, yun ang ilagay niyo. I-research niyo na maigi yung IATF rule at yung mga safety protocols. And saka niyo i-connect sa study niyo pagdating sa third paragraph na iintindihan po ba? Ang ba? Na hindi niya po ba? Hindi niyo ba nag-get? Yes po. Opo, hindi niyo ba nag-get? Sabi niyo yes, hindi niyo ansa hindi niyo ba nag-get? Yes po. Okay. So yun na. Then fourth paragraph na tayo. Problem. Pati nga ng problem, tama naman kayo, tumatama naman kayo eh. Ano yung problem na nakita niyo? Bakit kailangan niyo i-conducting study? O, oh, yan na naman tayo si Dare Findings Show that student. Sino yung Dare? Sinong researcher yan na may findings? Ilagay nyo kung sino yan. And then again, yung we. Kayo yan, sabi nyo, we. O, oh, ilagay nyo, the researchers look into, be specific. Ano? Then yan na, problem na umiiral. O, oh, yan. So, ilagay nyo kung sino yung author niyang findings na sinasabi nyo. Sabi nyo, students face many obstacles in home learning environment. Sino nagsabi niyan? Si Mayor Domo ba? Mayor Domo is kama 2015. According to Mayor Domo, the findings of his study show that, o yun, nagay nyo. Hindi nang gaya nyo. And then, last paragraph, outcome. Possible outcome. Pip paragraph. O, yun. In this research, it is expected that. O, yan. Okay yan. Okay yan. No? Wag nyo nga lang pabahabain. And then, ano yung output ng study nyo? Anong possible output? Gagawa ba kayo, halimbawa, ng flyers? Gagawa ba kayo ng tarpaulin? Information campaign? para maiwasan yung hard time, yung mga struggles na yan. O, yun yung product. Gagawa ba kayo ng advocacy video? Yun yung output na sinasabi, ha? Dapat may ganyan ng research nyo. Okay po? Okay po? Okay po. O, dapat nakalagay rin yun dyan. Ano? Depending upon the result of this study, ang magiging outcome. Okay? So, sige. SOP. Statement of the problem na tayo. Present. Okay, ganito ha, basahin si SOP, si Statement of the Problem number 1, and then ipakita ang resulta. And then, SOP number 2, basahin, ipakita ang resulta. O yung findings. O sige, proceed. Hmm, go. Yan yeah. Hmm, may nagdadabog, may nagagalit na <laughs> The study investigated the reason and effects of negativity of student thoughts of senior high of senior high in San Roque National High School. Specifically, it sought to answer the following question. Is there a significant difference in the percentage of the respondents hard time and struggle in online learning in terms of age and gender. Um, sir, unfortunately, hindi po namin na, tap, na tapos po agad yung survey tapos nag-lock po kami sa time na okay. i-present po yung results. Okay, so wala pang resulta. Ngayon, okay. itama natin bago kayo mag-conduct. So, unang-una ay ano bang gusto nyo malaman sa number one? Yung age ba saka yung gender ng respondents nyo? Yun ba ang gusto nyo makuha? Yung age, saka yung gender? Um, 
eh, ano po namin sana na kung sino po, kung anong age po yung karamihang nag, uh-huh. na experience ko yung struggle ko na po yung mga 16 po yung mas nakaka-experience po ng struggles uh-huh. in okay. online learning at kung ano din po yung gender na mas na-experience din po yung yun, Okay, so kumbaga i-re-relate mo i-connect mo kung may kinalaman yung age sa struggle. Tama? Opo. Okay, so sige, tama muna natin yan. Una, number one, profile. Mag-profiling muna kayo. ba? Profile. Alamin nyo muna kung ano yung age. So ganito, what, pakisulat, take note, what is the profile of the respondents? What is the profile of the respondents in terms of 1.1 age 1.2 gender oy bins manuel ka magwala diyan ha 1.2 gender okay so ulit what is the profile of the respondents in terms of 1.1 age 1.2 gender okay next number 2 Is there a significant difference between the percentage of respondents who find online learning better than face-to-face? Oh, hindi. Ganito yan. Struggle ang hinahanap nyo eh. Kukorelate nyo eh. Sa age, saka sa gender. E di, hanapin nyo saan nag-struggle. Oh, what are the struggles and difficulties? What are the struggles and difficulties of students? in connection with new new mode new mode new mode of learning uh, new mode of distance learning o kaya nga ano in terms of distance learning modality yan na lang in terms of distance learning modality. Yan na yun. Tumutukoy na yun kung face-to-face ba o online. In term, oh, what? Pakiulit nga. What are the struggles and difficulties of the respondents in terms of the learning modality? Yan, no, yun. So, yun. Alamin nyo muna. Isip kayo. And then, isip kayo ng mga tanong saan nag-struggle, mga possible struggle. And then, ipare-rate nyo sa kanila yon ng 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Halimbawa, 5, highest, strongly agree ba sila doon? Nagawa kayo ng questionnaire. Naintindihan? 5, strongly agree. Halimbawa, 4, uh, agree. 3, moderately agree. 2, disagree and one strongly disagree chechikan lang nila yun gagawa kayo ng mga tanong yung mga struggles, mag-isip na kayo struggles and difficulties nuggets yung gagawin question Opo. para sa number two so part one ng questionnaire kailangan i-click nila o itik nila, ano yung age nila maglalagay kayo, 16, 17, 18 o i-click nila o chechikan nila yun ganun yan Part 1 yun, profile. Then gender, sex, o male, female. O chechekan. O kaya ititik kung ang gamit nyo ay Google Forms. O, then part 2, yun na yung mga tanong about struggles and difficulties. Wherein they are going to rate 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Nagigets? O maggawa kayo ng at least 10 question. And then number 3, eto na ngayon, yung gusto nyong malaman. May kinalaman ba ang age sa struggle and difficulties? O, oh, eto na ngayon ng tanong. Is there a significant correlation between Is there a significant correlation between the profile of the respondents and 
struggles. Struggles of the respondents. Ayan. Struggles of the respondents in terms of distance learning modalities. O, oh, yun na yun. Pagbabanggay nyo na ngayon. So, paano nyo malalaman yung sagot sa number 3? Hindi sinasar hindi nyo yun makukuha sa survey. Kukumputin nyo yun. May formula. Nasa module 5 yan or module 4. Tingnan nyo na lang. Module 4 5. Yung Pearson moment correlation. Yun ang gagamitin nyo. May example na doon ng pagkukumpute. Pearson's moment correlation. Ano? Tingnan nyo sa lecture. O pagka may tanong, hindi maintindihan sa pagkukumpute, tanongin nyo ako personally. So, tutulungan ko kayo, ano? Okay? Uh, may tanong pa po ba? Sige. Tanong na kayo, please. Ano, tanong nyo kayo? Ito, sorry, ito yung taso din. Naka-open na po, hindi na palang muted. Sir, about na po sa written task. Oo, oh, written task. Sa week 6 po, sir, kasi wala po kayo na-upload po na video niya po sa YouTube. Ah, oh, okay. Hindi na kailangan. Hindi na kailangan ng video doon. Wala talaga. Sir, kami. Nandito kami sa... Alin ba? Doon po sa Soy. Sa so, A and B po ng week 6, yung ayun lang po yung rating task, yung A po. Yung hindi mean, yung, tapos... Okay, hindi naman yung... Pag, oh, ganito. Pag sinabing mean, other word for mean ay average. Average lang yan. Halimbawa, ganito. Meron kang... Ang nakuha mo sa exam ay... Halimbawa, una. Ito yung score mo, halimbawa, 1 to 10. Ang nakuha mo ay... Unang, unang test ay 10. Ikalawang test ay 8. Ikatlong test ay 6. So, tatlo yung test mo. 10, 8, 6. I-add mo lahat. 10 plus 8 plus 6. O, 24. Ilan lahat yung test mo? Tatlo po. Tatlo. O, i-divide mo sa tatlo. Yun na yun. Min na yun. Average na yun. Hindi po yung buo po, sir. Kasi naghanap po ako sa YouTube. Wala po. Mas, mas komplikado po yung mga nasa mga kanulang po yun ang mga nag-aaral sa YouTube, oh. sir. Ah, oy, sige. Huwag ka mag-alala. Next year, gagawa ako ng video ng pagkocompute. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi. Ah, uh, ganito. Sige. Pagka nagkocompute na kayo, i-chat nyo ako, tapos meet tayo sa Google Meet para i-guide ko kayo. I-guide ko kayo para makompute. Ano? So, so Pearson arang gagamitin nyo sa number 3 sa pagkocompute, ha? Ano ba? Pagkatapos ng average or mean, ang kukuha niya na doon is standard deviation SD. Oh, then, afterwards, independent t-test naman. Madali lang yun. Kung talagang step by step, himay-himayin nyo. Kung intindi nyo yung nasa module natin. Ano? Uh, Sige, one of these days, pagka natapos na yung mga trabaho ko, kasi kahit pa sabing health break, ay ang dami pa rin namin trabaho. Eh, I will try na gumawa ng video on computation para mas maintindihan nyo kung paano ginagawa. Ano? Oh, sir. Salamat po, kasi, sir. During the face to face, actual ko kasi tinuturo talaga yan. Ano? And for the meantime, ay follow nyo na yung example. Makakarating rin kayo sa paroroonan. Basta sinunod yung step-by-step -step process nun. Uh, ano pa? Tapos, ganito ang tip ko sa inyo. May mga internet naman kayo sa bahay. May mga online, may mga online platform na i-enter nyo lang yung data, automatic makukuha na yung sagot. May ganun. Ang kailangan nyo oh, ng ar aralin ay paano mag-interpret ng data. Kung halimbawa, meron kayong uh, R 
computed. Yeah. Yung na-compute nyo, i-compare nyo sa tabulated. R tabulated. So, kailan nyo masasabi na reject? R, reject ang null hypothesis and there is significant difference. Ganun lang. Comparison ng data yon Nasa lecture rin yan. Pagka mas malaki ang R computed kesa sa R tabulated o kahit sa T, sa independent T test. T computed, mas malaki sa T tabulated. Reject ang null hypothesis, there is significant difference. Ewan ko lang kung nag-gets nyo. <laughs> Ayaw mag-uusap ng number nang walang ano eh. Nakapos na example eh. Another lecture kasi yan. May tanong pa ba kayo tungkol din sa process ng inyong ano? Research. Basta pagkagawa nyo ng questionnaire ha, pacheck nyo sa akin. Huwag na hindi nyo patadaanin sa akin. Ano? Isend nyo na lang through messenger para mabis kong makita. Madali kong magawa. Okay po? Matagal pa naman tayo ulit. Pagpapasan nyo naman pagkatapos na ng SEM break eh. Mga Feb, uh, Feb 5 na yun. Feb 3, ganun. Matagal-tagal pa. Oh. Any question pa? Wala na po, sir. Nakatulong po ba? <laughs> ginawa, nyo, ginawa nating presentation ngayon. O hindi? Uh, Wait, sir. Ay, sorry po. Ano po kami nanginginig dito kanina, sir? <laughs> Okay, kung meron kayong ano, kung meron kayong hindi natandaan, recorded naman to, i-upload ko na lang tong video sa YouTube channel ko and then send ko sa inyo yung link para mapanood nyo. Okay? Okay, sir. Okay, po, sir. Salamat. Okay, thank you din sa inyo. Pwede na kayo matulog at uh, mag-helm break ng kasama. <laughs> Pero, sir, wala pa kami tulog pare-paras. Sir, kinakaban. Okay, kayo ha. Hindi ko kasalanan kung wala kayong tulog. Unang-una, week one pa lang, hinimay-himay ko na kung ano yung ipipresent nyo ngayon. Yung part by part ng research, ipinapagawa ko yan kada week. Kung ginawa nyo yan weekly by weekly, ikokompile nyo na lang yan, saka nyo ipipresent ngayon. Eh, mahirap kasi. Trabaho na lang yan. Kung kailan pasahan na, saka hapitin, mag overnight Eh, mali yun. Nasabihin ko sa inyo, maling mali yun, ano? Sorry po. Oh, huwag na kayo mag-sorry. Alam ko trabaho nyo. Oh, sige na. Pwede na mag-out. Thank you sa inyo. Eh? Oo. Oh, ano pa? Pwede po ba anim, sir? Anim. Sino yung pang-anim? Nakatulong ba sa inyo? Isa po kasi sir na wala pong grupo. Hindi, tanong ko sir. Nakatulong ba or isasabit nyo lang? Para pumasa. Nakatulong po, sir. Kasi wala po siya. O, oh, sige. Sino? Si Benz po. O, oh, sige. Ay, Jamin, Bergara po. Sige. Okay. Thank you po. Thank you po, sir. Alright, sige. Pwede na kayo mag-out. Thank you, sir. Thank you po, sir. Ganda. Ganda. God bless din po. Nakala, naka-open pa to. Ay, sabi mo. <laughs>